Hey team, welcome to the 2023 Triumph Scrambler 900. In the, I think, stunning Carnival Red paint scheme. Full transparency, I actually used to own one of these when it was called the Street Scrambler 900. Now it's just a standard Scrambler 900. I have regretted selling this bike every single day since I sold it. I absolutely loved it. I haven't ridden one for about, what is it, about five, six years since I owned one. Let's jump on it today and see how it's been upgraded and is it still as good as it used to be? Can it be the funnest Bonneville in the Triumph range? I, oh, I think it could be, but I, I need to ride it again to make my mind up. Price-wise, we're at £9,595. A little bit cheaper than the Ducati Scrambler, the Icon standard uh, Ducati Scrambler. What have we got engine-wise? So we've got the Bonneville 900cc parallel twin, but with the 270 degree crank. So mimicking the sort of vibes and character of a V-twin engine. But then the smaller, compact, lighter, more efficient uh, parallel twin setup. Putting out 64 brake horsepower and 80 newton meters of torque. Right, let's just uh, jump on and just go for a first initial ride. What we'll do, we'll just go for a ride. Go over how she feels, see if she sparks up my uh, previous love that I used to have for this specific bike. And uh, then, yeah, we'll go for some tech specs and a few features that I very much like about this Scrambler 900. <laughs> So first off the bat, the exhaust on this bike for a standard exhaust is just so much fun. It's got the dual, dual sided exhaust on the right hand side, high exhaust. It's just got such a throaty noise to it for a standard exhaust, it's so much fun. Right, immediately jumping on, it's got that brilliant riding position of a classic uh, scrambler motorbike really high handlebars nice and wide handlebars so you've got your uh, ability to counter steer which is very nice very comfortable nice sat upright quite a sort of commanding riding position on the road as well actually oh that clutch is so light so i'd actually like to say many thanks to blade motorcycles here in swindon for lending me this bike and special thanks to george for giving me a shout that this bike's ready the 2023 scrambler brand new it's got about five miles as you can see on it there so it's a brand new bike so cheers for that blade i can see why they're so popular so easy to ride Oh, and that 900 engine, it feels feels bigger. It's really nice and throaty. 80 newton meters of torque, so it's got that nice character to it and low down grunt. So I remember when I first bought this bike, say it was about five, six years ago, I just loved it. I was like, oh, it's a bit like, it's like riding a sort of V-twin, like a big Harley, like I sort of dreamed of when I was a kid. It's got that sort of vibe to it. It's so characterful. So the color for this bike, guys, as I said earlier, it's a car of all red which is a uh new for this year which i think is actually really nice they also do the sort of khaki matte khaki green which is what i used to have my bike in that's personally my favorite <laughs> jump the lights there immediately extremely easy to ride just a great bike this already they're just brilliant for in town that high riding position able to see over traffic very nicely so i say that i'll try not to overtake that bus <laughs> and that exhaust popping away at the back right i'll catch up with you in a sec i'm just going to uh pop a bit of fuel in and then hit some we'll hit some more sort of country roads to uh get a feel what she's like on the faster roads right just briefly before we get to some twisties what's she like on faster roads is it quick enough 100 percent. so it's one down four up gears so you've got five gears it might be nice to have the six gear for sort of dual carriageway faster roads but we can easily just roll on here fifth gear get up to 70 miles an hour very easily and, and quite quickly and it's really comfortable bar the wind it's a naked bike obviously you're getting a lot of wind but there's no vibes there's something about this bike about that engine the 900 at, at 70 miles an hour it's incredibly smooth just a point it's it's really nice on the faster roads don't be worried about a lack of power if you're planning a longer trip you could definitely take this camping or on little touring adventures great fun 
So I'm taking it relatively easy today team because it was very frosty and cold this morning so there's probably some icy spots on the road so I really am, I've got to be mindful of that um, and not get carried away. This is where the bike starts to really shine. First of all in the city and in town I think it's great for that. Really one of, one of the best bikes out there. It's got the cool riding appeal to it but it's also just so practical. Light clutch, relatively light feeling bike once you're moving and then also out into the country here on the back lanes. Just so much fun. Woo! That 900, the engine is a lot quicker than I remember. Just got the perfect amount of power to just really have fun with and play around with, which I think is what these scramblers are all about. Right guys, since we're here, let's just rattle off a few specs on the uh, beautiful bike here that is great fun, I must say. Seat height, 790 millimeters. So I'm five foot nine and quite comfortably um, flat footing it with a bit of a bend in my knee as well. So very manageable, could go off-roading, sort of gravel tracks, etc. but also nice for in town, reassuring you can flat foot it and manage it through traffic, etc. But they're not such a low seat height that you're feeling insignificant on the bike. Okay, on to the weight. So 223 kilograms wet weight. That's not a light motorcycle by any means, but then it's not a majorly heavy motorcycle by any means. Bikes these days seem to be getting heavier and heavier. I think 223 in this category is not too bad. When you're riding it, I can say you really can't feel that weight. It actually feels like a quite a sort of not too small but manageable nimble motorcycle whilst riding i have ridden the 1200 model of this scrambler which is a fair bit bigger that's a serious proposition that that 1200 which is lovely don't get me wrong but there's something about this 900 just makes it more playful more fun more nimble at that slightly lower weight don't get me wrong by no means is this a quote-unquote scrambler for ragging it off road it's not that light it is a little bit heavier than that hence all of the chrome and heavier pieces but this is a it's a road motorbike let's be honest okay guys so mainly being a road motorbike however there are some nods towards scrambling if that's how you like to say it or off-roading so you've got a 19 inch front wheel 17 inch rear and it's coming on Metzlin's Torrance tires so it's a sort of adventure style tire about 85% on-road use about 15% off-road I used to do it on my bike you can definitely hit gravel tracks and some sort of drier dirt tracks on this bike it's great fun nothing too extreme but yeah can be scrambled off-road on light roads along with that 19 inch benefits of that on road it soaks up the bumps very nicely it's very playful it's not too much of a serious sporting proposition on road it does have that scrambler feel to it because you've got the larger front wheel you can just sort of hit the bumps and hit the potholes etc on the roads and not worry about them too much Cool, that is bright. Suspension, nothing too fancy here. You've got 41 millimeter telescopic forks up front with 120 millimeters of travel. Non-adjustable as well. Um, however, I would say set up for the road and some very light gravel tracks. It's pretty nicely, pretty nicely damped. There's nothing too fancy about the suspension, but it doesn't need it. It's nice to keep it a nice basic bike. Coming on to the rear suspension, as with a lot of the uh, the classic Bonnevilles, the modern classics I should say, you've got twin shocks on the rear, um, preload adjustable with 120 millimeters of travel. On the rear brakes, you have a single 255 millimeter disc with a two piston Nissing caliper. Up front, nothing too fancy again. You've got a single 310 millimeter disc with a four piston Brembo piston actually, which is nice. Axially mounted, nothing too fancy, but um, nice brakes actually, nice for, they feel like a scrambler's brakes, let's say that. They're not too sharp, they're, but they're more than capable of stopping the bike, but good for if you are taking it on gravel tracks or in car parks or whatever you want to do with your scrambler. It's nice to know you haven't got razor sharp brakes up front just in case you dab on them and you can come a bit unstuck there so yeah good good balance brakes for this this bike so guys hope you like the sound of the exhaust there it's 
really one of the better, better exhausts. Excuse me, can't even speak, it's so cold. Sounds great when you start her up. When you're moving along at higher speeds, 50 miles an hour plus, you can't hear it so much, but that's normal with a lot of bikes these days. At lower speeds and for cruising around town, etc., and just these small country lanes, it is perfect noise. A couple of points I like about the bike, just look at the styling of this exhaust, the engineering that's gone into that. It's really beautiful design, high slung exhaust. Slightly falling in love with this bike again. Such a stunning bike, really like it. I'm not just saying that, I do enjoy it. Also another feature which I, I used to enjoy about this bike is uh, you can remove the pillion seat very easily and have like a metal rack, sort of luggage rack there, so you can strap a tent or bags or whatever, whatever you like to it. Christmas turkey perhaps that could work or you can change the seat out for a sort of flat style diamond stitched brown seat which i also think is rather splendid as well perhaps you can tell i'm quite enjoying riding this bike again it's one of those bikes if i can i can get this across right that's just sort of don't get me wrong i love big powerful bikes i love big adventure bikes i love a bigger engine lots of power etc but after you've ridden a few of those and you get a little bit more experienced it's really nice you genuinely do appreciate a lower powered slightly lighter more manageable bike and this is definitely one of them but lacking absolutely no character at all this it's fantastic <laughs> let's get on to a bit of a electronics etc so rider modes you have two rider modes rain and road pretty straightforward i generally find rains quite useful well actually on today's like this when it's slippy etc or if it's raining surprising enough so there's no cruise control there's no cornering ABS, no cornering traction control on this bike. It's a nice and simple technological bike, which is great. Lives up to its scrambler name, really. So as I said earlier, the clutch is typical Triumph and the gear change. There's no quick shifter, guys. This is a, a nice, simple bike, but very light Triumph. Oh, I'm in fifth gear already. That was a bit of a shock. Very light Triumph clutch and gear throw. And the handling is yeah it's sort of classic triumph as well she's quite nimble and sharp to turn in so you got nice counter steering because they're nice high wide bars they really are it's such a lovely riding position this i really would describe this as just almost the perfect bike for just not pottering that's not the right word because it's actually quite fun to get a bit of a lick on on these bikes but just sort of playing around and fooling around in the country in some sort of beaten up roads through little villages like that and then when you want to get on it yes yeah, it's, it's, it's a torque is that figure from this engine the 80 newton meters of torque just pulls it's got plenty plenty of uh, power there to have fun with also with these scramblers which i think is a really good point is like now okay the sun's out and it's beautiful weather but it's very cold and we're we're into winter now fully into winter but i wouldn't hesitate about getting this bike out i think that's part of its charm just any condition you just get her out face the elements and just go for a cruise you know blow the cobwebs away feel happy you don't feel limited to um certain conditions etc it's almost the rougher it is the more i want to get this thing out and just sort of test its boundaries so as i was saying the brakes aren't mega strong Cool, it's icy here. <laughs> Saying all of that and then I slip up and come off, that would be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, the brakes aren't super strong. I'm gonna, can't emphasize it enough. I, you, I wouldn't want them any stronger. There's a nice softness to them, which you can sort of play with. It's not on or off, it's not sharp. They're very progressive. Nice friendly brakes, shall we say. Oh, listen to that, there's that low down grunt. Oh, I want one. I want one again. It's just perfect. So what is she like through the, the twisties, as we like to call them? As I was saying, the handling is really nice. Counter steering, nice and easily turns in. You know what it is about these bikes that I just really like about the Scramblers is its combination of torque. This is a lovely motor. I don't know what Triumph have done with the tune on this 900, but 
the torque coming out of the corners is just really glorious, just pulls quite strong, it's a big pull on it. But what I like about these bikes is it embodies so much of motorbiking that I enjoy about it. In fact, let's go pull over, I'll talk you over it. It's really hit a sweet spot with me, this bike. So guys, a bit of a chat. Why am I loving this bike so much? Everyone has different reasons for riding motorbikes. If you didn't know, one of my main reasons is for uh, mental health. I've struggled with mental health problems in the past and, and I, st I still do have my problems, but motorcycling is a m cycling is a massive tool that helps me out, clears the head, strips everything back to basics, just basically enjoying a simple pleasure. That's what it does for me. Now the thing I find frustrating, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate to, is I like all of them. I like all of the styles and I just don't know which one to go for. It's very hard to buy a motorbike that embodies everything that you like about biking. So I personally ride a Triumph Speedmaster. I love that. I love the character, the cruiser laid back. I love the cool feeling it gives me. I love the styling of the bike. Everything about it I really like. But then, I really like going on adventures. Uh, maybe a little bit of off-roading, going exploring down gravel tracks. I also like riding quite spiritedly. Not crazy fast, but I like getting on it and enjoying the speed and the handling and the feeling, the dynamics of a motorbike. I also like the involvement. I like the wind in my face, the temperature, the raw experience of an engine, of a V-twin perhaps. Really like that side of biking. So what am I trying to say? I'm saying personally for me, this Scrambler almost embodies all of those things. It's got the torque, the style, and the character of a cruiser. I love that lazy pulling out of a corner, bop, 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 through with the excuse of bad uh, example of noise, with the noise coming out of a corner and that torque. It's got bags of that. It's got the adventurer cap capabilities, gravel roading, not worrying about poor conditions, uh, the wet, the rain, the bumps in the road. It can handle all of that. I love that about the bike. You can also get on it a bit and hunt the bike a bit. It's got some nice sporty handling, nimble handling bike, nice wide handlebars for counter steering, lovely upright, dominating, confident riding position for on the road. Basically what I'm saying is this bike's got everything I like. I've fallen a bit in love with this bike. I'm surprised. I'm regretted selling it about six years ago and now i know why i did i've absolutely fell in love with it fantastic i want to ride the 1200 soon to see how that goes but guys if you want a nice involving bike that looks cool is up for going on a bit of an adventure scramblers are where it's at this triumph scrambler is awesome all right, apologies guys, bit of a uh, deep heart to heart there, got a bit sentimental, but um, yeah, absolutely love this bike. Really made me made me feel happy this bike, shout out to Mental Health Awareness. I've been feeling a bit iffy, bit off recently, and I've had a fantastic day on this bike, it's really lifted my spirits. But I was just about to ride off there, for some reason the GoPro is just not working, all my batteries are full, absolutely fine, and it just dies and says battery's dead. Don't know if anyone knows anything about that, let me know. It's very cold, but I would have thought GoPro could go a bit colder than, than uh, what it is in the UK at the moment. But anyway, who knows? Let's not that, let that dampen the spirits. Ride safe out there. If you want a fun bike, check out the uh, Scramble 900. I better get out of the road because I'm about to be run over. See you in the next one. Ciao, Bella.